Now the Bharatiya Janata Party seems to be divided over Saber Ali's induction. Now Saber Ali's induction triggered revolt with Mukhtar Abbas Naqvi shooting off an angry tweet. He says and I quote, Bhatkal's friend in BJP, Daud may join soon. All right, uh, because we have the BJP representative, Mr. Nalin Kohli with us. Mr. Kohli, would you like to answer what exactly is wrong with your party? Why do leaders have to choose Twitter as a platform to communicate their displeasure? All right, we'll try going back to uh, Mr. Nalin Kohli in just a short moment. But uh, Sabir Ali's induction has definitely divided the Bharatiya Janata Party with Mukhtar Abbas Naqvi, the senior leader, actually shooting off a very angry tweet saying that Bhatkal's friend has in fact joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. Daud may join soon. Now, that is a very angry reaction on part of someone like Mukhtar Abbas Naqvi, who's a vice president of the party. What really did he mean? In what context will be only too interesting because Dharmendra Pradhan, as well as other senior leaders like Sudhanshu Trivedi, all of them were present on the stage while this induction was going on. So is it a case of deep division within the Bharatiya Janata Party? We do not know, but it is very clear that senior leaders, leaders as senior as the vice president are unhappy with this particular induction. It will be interesting to see how the Bharatiya Janata Party actually chooses to respond and tackle this particular problem. All right, Nalin Kohli, I believe, is back on the uh, back with us uh, now. Nalin, I'm sure you are aware of this angry tweet. As far as Mr. Mukhtar Abbas Naqvi is concerned, he's your party vice president. He seems to be pretty unhappy with Sabir Ali's induction in the Bharatiya Janata Party. Why do you leaders have to choose Twitter as a platform to express their dissent? Well, I mean, the counterpoint to that uh, Sanket would be clearly that uh, the BJP is not an authoritarian party as many of our Congress friends would like to paint incorrectly. And we do not have a kind of a, ma a mindset where people can't express their views. We are a collective leadership party. We are proud of that democratic tradition. We may not subscribe to what has been said on uh, Twitter if it has been said so. Because Mr. Nakvi is a senior leader of ours. We will have to get to the bottom of it. And I'm sitting here on your channel from about 7.50 in the room. I saw the news on your uh, TV channel. So mm. I have had no means of being able to you know, speak with anybody or be able to come back with a more structured response. So these are my initial thoughts. And as I said, uh, in terms of your question about uh, you know, why does it come out in the open, in any day, I would say as a party, what you may look as a problem is a, f a strength of the party in terms of at least we are. No, no, we Mr. Kohli, how can this be looked at as a strength? Our points. How can dissent on Twitter uh, or displeasure on Twitter be looked as strength? I mean, we are playing visuals right now. I don't know if you have uh, uh, a mo TV monitor yes, in front of that. you to see. I can see it. There is, yeah. there is Mr. Saber Ali, there is Dharmendra Pradhan, there is Sudhanshu Trivedi. The entire top brass of your party is over there. There is Mr. Nadda also over there. The entire BJP is over there and you have a leader who is sulking, who is upset. Sulking may be a too strong a word, but upset. So as I told you right at the beginning of uh, my comment that uh, it is possible that this may be an individual comment and it does not reflect the party's line because the party's line is evident as you are seeing on the screen. Now in terms of those strong words, as you said, it may be an... Uh, as I, I've given two reasons. Mm. One, it could be an angry reaction or it could be an upset reaction, as you're saying. Mm. By Nakwiji, we respect Nakwiji. He's an, elder, uh, a, a, an important leader of our party. And the second point is, I pointed out that it could also be something else. I mean, if uh, a minister of the cabinet can take the plea in personal tweets involving his unfortunately now deceased wife, that uh, the account was possibly hacked. This is possible with anyone. In today's age, uh, where we are, and you know, the misuse of agencies that are there, nothing is impossible. Oh, so you're hinting that this is, this is some is hacker. That, no, no, no. This I, is not I Mr. Nakhvi, this impossible. is some hacker. I just said, I've said, no, no, I've made it clear. Hmm. Nothing is impossible. And I've pointed out, I've had no possibility of speaking with anybody on this and getting a structured response because I've been sitting on your panel. Last point, Twitter, as you know, the standard uh, thing is, 
our tweets views are personal they are not endorsement of anybody else re retweets so i mean that's the normal uh, platform it's a platform for personal uh, indication except for the official mechanisms which is say the bjp twitter handle uh, or it'll be mr modi's twitter handle or mr jaitley's twitter handle because they use it for official purposes where there are personal tweets like my twitter handle is a personal twitter handle i could put out my personal views if i want that's my prerogative whether i do it or not so we'll get back to this and check on it and i'm sure you'll have a structured response how would you how would you deal with a situation like this because obviously you realize politics which is all about perception this is not really particularly the sort of perception you would want to send out well i'll give you an honest answer on that uh, sanket i don't think any person who's sitting on live television hmm. would like to be in a situation like this because it's not uh, desirable as far as we are concerned and that's why as a representative of my party our focus is that we are working towards change in government because we believe that mr modi has offered hope he's popular and he's working towards establishing accountability vis-a-vis do price you think rise, mr nakvi is insecure unemployment all of these do you mean do do, I don't know. do you I feel mr nakvi is insecure that that it would be an unsafe space comment. within the bjp has been it would be, will have to be shared No I don't think so I I think that's uh, it would be a very personal comment and it may be a little premature to pass such a harsh comment I mentioned to you Nakvi ji is an old uh, and a respected party uh, colleague he's much senior to me he's been in the party for a long time he's been a minister member of parliament so i think you know if uh, such a thing has come also we need to get down to it and understand before we can make any kind of okay. uh, judgment and it'll be a little premature Mr Nalin Kohli appreciate you having here on the show thank you very much for speaking to headlines today well that's the top story that we are in fact getting you at this moment sabir ali dividing the bharatiya janata party thank you all alpankhak hai aur aap do chehre abhi tak the alpankhak aapko kahin na kahin jo hai dar hai ki kahin jo aapka jo space hai wo dekhe hum sabir ali hum log mj akbar sahab jaise bahut hi qabil vyakti unko khud leke aaye उसके अलावा भी कम से कम 20-25 लोग और अभी हमने मेरठ में ज्वाइनिंग कराई और जगहों पर भी देश के हिस्सों में ज्वाइनिंग कराई सवाल यहाँ ये नहीं है सवाल ये है कि अगर कहीं पर भी इस तरह की गंभीर सवाल उठते हैं तो उसको करेक्ट करना चाहिए और इसमें कोई बुराई नहीं नकवी जी आप आपको वो सारी हिस्ट्री पता लग जाएगी आप हमें कुछ कहने की जरूरत नहीं आप सीधे जो है वो सारी हिस्ट्री जो है वो मोटे मोटे अक्षरों में सारी वेबसाइट पे उंडली Number two, he feels that whatever he said is already in the public domain, and that is why nothing of what he has said is new. <clears throat> This is a confirmation of the fact that Mukhtar Abbas Naqvi is officially 100% upset with this particular decision of the Bharatiya Janata Party. It will be interesting to see how the BJP chooses to respond to this particular crisis as well. Remember, there is one crisis after another. for the bharatiya janata party the latest being mukhtar abbas naqvi and it will be only too interesting to see whether post mukhtar abbas naqvi are there other senior muslim bjp face which will also decide to go the same way